Operation John Steele. All proceeds will go to benefit the Wounded Warrior Project. June 6, 1944, the airborne assault began. Scattered across Normandy, some elements of the 505th PIR dropped directly on the village of saint a marie Eglise. 2nd Battalion Trooper John Steele was wounded in the foot by Flack and his parachute caught on the spire of the cathedral in the town square. For over two hours, he hung on the side of the cathedral with German soldiers occupying the courtyard below. Steele was eventually captured, but after only four hours of captivity, he escaped and rejoined his division. Following the battle, Steele was awarded the Bronze Star for Valor and Purple Heart for being wounded in combat. BR-1 is proud to dedicate this event to John Steele as a symbol of all the wounded warriors who bravely served and all those who fought with them. Preparation Phase for the Allies To simulate airborne assault, Allied units will be scattered across rows in the following manner. Two squads in the columns E, F. They may not deploy inside the Cat Point Quadrant. They must be 100 meters away from each other and they may deploy in the same quadrant. Four squads scattered 100 meters apart in columns G, H. All other squads must remain in column J until the match begins. Sniper squads count as full squads and drop zones. The Allied commander will report when all drop zone units are in place. Preparation phase for the Germans. To simulate German unpreparedness for the invasion, Germans may have two squads occupy the cap point in columns E, F, but they must remain within the cap zone until the match goes live. The German armor unit may deploy in the E, F cap point during the preparation phase as well. Germans may deploy four squadrons in column C, D, minimum 100 meters apart, and all other German infantry and armor must remain in column A until the match goes live. The German commander will report when all units are in place and when both commanders have reported that their troops are in position, the event moderators will indicate a specific time for the match to go live. Allied rules. No allied vehicles other than jeeps except during the deployment period. No allied artillery until 30 minutes have elapsed after the match is live and after that only one gun is allowed. May not build nodes or garrisons until the match is live. Allied commander may not use the commander abilities until the match is live. Axis rules, maximum one armor units active, no panthers or tigers. Effect in future operations. Allied victory. During the Omaha and Utah matches, German armor will be delayed from entering the battle for 10 minutes after the first point is taken. German victory. During the Omaha and Utah matches, Allied armor will be delayed from entering the battle for 10 minutes after the first point is taken.